Greetings and salutations, it is Sunday, May 3rd, and today's video comes with a disclaimer. I'm going to be talking about Age of Ultron, we just got back from watching it, um, A+, plus. but uh, this I will be talking about what happens in the movie, so if you haven't seen it, stop watching. Um, comments will probably not be a spoiler-free zone, which is fine, um, but just kind of be warned that I'm not making this a spoiler-free area. Um, second, I did not read the comics, so I'm maybe saying some very stupid and unaware things, and I'm fully acknowledging that up front, but, you know, because you guys are you guys, feel free to tell me in the comments what I effed up on, and we'll go from there. Um, so, holy crap, Age of Ultron was amazing and intense and wonderful, and oh, Hawkeye's cute little family, and I love it, and oh, it's so awesome, and yeah, I have words, but there are no words to describe how amazing this movie was. Um, well, the highlights, I'm gonna just point, basically just tell you my favorite moments because overall the story was amazing. Um, if they kill you, walk it off. Uh, Captain America trying to lift the hammer and it shakes and the look of fear on Thor's face. Jarvis and Paul Bettany, and oh my God, Paul Bettany finally has a physical role and that's amazing. Um, the after credits or the after the little the beginning of the credits with Thanos was really really cool and you actually get to see the Infinity Gauntlet and oh my gosh it was amazing. Um, and the way that they started the credits with like this big really intricate marble statue and they just kind of go around with everything that was awesome. End credits just the beginning little intro with all the big names. So so good. Um, the, the, the humor oh my goodness I thought Iron Man's little comebacks were hilarious. James Spader is amazing. Oh my lord James Spader is amazing. Um, I've never seen Elizabeth Olsen anything. I was a huge fan of Mary Kate and Ashley stuff when I was growing up. I had a whole bunch of the movies. I got out and watched a whole bunch of the movies from the library and stuff and I own a few of them still. But oh my goodness, the uh, Elizabeth Olsen, their sister, I can never remember if she's the older or the younger sister, was so, so good as Scarlet Witch. Like seriously, A plus, that was amazing. Um, the last scene where they kind of tease you with the assemble and it's like, oh, are they gonna say it? Are they gonna say it? And then it cuts to the credits and it's like, oh. That was a little heartbreaking, but it was really good. Um, we get to see Falcon in two scenes, which was amazing. Um, and yes, I totally ship Black Widow and Hulk. Oh my gosh, they are adorable. Um, you get backstory on quite a few characters and like kind of the history a little bit. And Hawkeye's whole little family thing is amazing. And I can never remember the actress's name. Her first name is Linda that plays his wife was astounding. She was my favorite character um, when she played Sam under Sam Taggart on uh, ER, and she was fantastic in this movie. It was really, 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 really good. And uh, Black Widow, we had a little bit of Black Widow backstory. Oh, I was almost crying through all of it. It was so intense and so wonderful. And oh, the Hulk and Black Widow are just adorable together and I love it. And yeah, the humor in this movie was just, it's a Joss Whedon film, so you know it's gonna be fantastic. Uh, was a little sad to find out that he is not directing the kind of finale of the of this chapter of Marvel. Uh, he's not doing the Infinity War part two or part one and part two, which I'm a little bummed about. But I just hope I hope we don't get J.J. Abrams because seriously, he's gotten his his fingers in so many pies right now. Just stay away from Marvel, J.J. We love you, but stay away from Marvel. Um, interesting previews that I saw for the movie. Um, there was a Star Wars preview, which was the same one that was released a little while ago. It was really, really good. Uh, very cool in 3D. Um, something called San Andreas that has the rock in it that is like a natural disaster movie, which looks pretty interesting. Um, what other previews were there? There were a few. Oh, Ant-Man. Ant-Man, Ant-Man. Ant-Man looks weird. I don't know if I'm gonna go watch it. I, like, I probably will. I'll get dragged by this guy. But I don't know what I think about Ant-Man. It's like, okay, so you shrink them down and they become an ant and they're tiny. The preview was pretty funny, um, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about Ant-Man. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about Ant-Man, but yeah. Anyway, wow, I've been talking about superheroes for four minutes. So that's amazing. Okay, so uh, I blame this nerd for getting me super into it. Um, I was sandwiched in between my husband, it was my husband on the left, and then me, and then these group of like three, I'm gonna say late 20s guys who were like laughing and so excited and like talking about like the comic book stuff and all of that and I was like, it was really cool to kind of be surrounded by nerds. But the best part, the best part about going to a Marvel movie is you watch, the movie ends and every, like half, over half, like three quarters of the room stands up to leave and you're like, okay, we know who the real, we know who the real nerds are in the room because we know there's another scene coming. So that was pretty cool. There was, there were like maybe 
10 small little groups of people all throughout the theater that kind of stayed because they knew what was coming. Then there was the mid credit scene. Usually there's a mid and an after one, but on the end we just saw that um, the Avengers will return at the end. Um, and, but there were about, again, 10 groups of us, 10 little, like, little groups of us that stayed to the end, which was kind of cool. You, you, you know who the nerds are and that you're with good people, which was really, really cool. Anyway, that is it. The movie was really good. I will, I think I might actually want to go see it again in theaters. That was really, really good. Um, and yeah, uh, we're going to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. because we're kind of, we, we've watched, oh, we finished Daredevil last week i think daredevil a a plus oh my goodness a plus it is dark and terrifying and so 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 good um i hope they bring in electra next season i think that would be really really interesting anyway that is it for today tomorrow will be the paladin class challenge from black Hawk mountain and then tuesday to friday will be heroic mode and then we're done with black Hawk mountain that was an adventure it took us almost a month or no it took us right around a month so that was cool anyway that is the first day thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you feel so inclined have a beautiful day